New England. He's throwing the ball straight up in the air. Oh, oh, the buzzer's going yeah. off. It's over. The Hounds have upset the best team in the nation. The crowd is going hysterical. Jim Lacey and Hill Donald. Tom Lee stole it. He's laid it up. Boy, all of the blood. Three seconds to go. Rodney Floyd came out of nowhere to steal the ball. It's going to be Running with the Greyhounds is the story of basketball in Baltimore and in Maryland and how the game grew and developed. What's really interesting is that the people who made the history are so unique. Vince Bagley, who's one of the great sportscasters in the history of, of Maryland, said that it is something he has never seen before. It is a totally unique history and uh, it should be preserved for future generations. It's coming down out of the light. Bulldog! It's double overtime! Jimmy jump shots! Mob. He intercepted that pass! I wrote this 392-page book because initially I was asked to write three or four paragraphs about the history of my development journey in England by the English Basketball Fellowship. I just didn't have enough room to do justice to all the people who had inspired me and uh, made me the person who I am. By the end of the book, everyone will know who the great coaches were, who the great players were, such as Jim Lacey, Morris Cannon, Mark Rohde, who the people were behind the team, the team behind the team the Jesuits, the Sisters of Mercy, and who Wilson Bean was, the, one of the first African-American employees who supported not just basketball, but all the teams. The book tells about all the great rivalries within the state of Maryland. Mount St. Mary's is the greatest in-state rivalry, especially the teams of Jim Phelan, uh, that were basically wars more than basketball games. Mm -hmm.